Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got a quick tip guide for you today dealing with loaded magazines. Most of us, or at least most of us that are conscious, understand that a loaded magazine is the way that they should be stored because an unloaded magazine doesn't do you a whole lot of good. In fact, I was arguing with one of my family members a few weeks ago. They let me know that they keep a revolver in their bedroom when they sleep, but it's unloaded and they've got loose ammunition around it. And I'm like, I can't even find my dick in the middle of the night to take a piss, let alone trying to load a revolver round by round in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. in the dark. Keeping your magazines loaded has the side effect of when you go to the range and you want to practice like reload drills, you have to shoot to get to a reload. So you're eventually, if you're fiscally responsible, going to start downloading those magazines. And inevitably that means that you're going to have to strip live ammunition out of a fully loaded magazine. So. There's a couple different techniques for doing this, some of which I find more efficient than others, and I wanted to cover those. So you might prep for this if you're going out to the range to do your own thing at your own range. But if you're going to a training course, you may not know what the course of fire is. You may not know what the schedule looks like. So you may end up doing something like this. The one that I see most people start with is they'll take their hand and they'll just go to the back of the cartridge and start stripping them out like this. And the problem with that is it's time consuming it's going to shred up your fingers and it's going to kill your gloves if you're wearing them. So about five or six magazines into doing that, people will usually switch to one of these where they start pulling the rounds out. And that fixes the whole thing with tearing up your fingers. But as you can see, it takes some a little bit more dexterity and takes even longer. So once they get done with that method, they'll usually have the bright idea to start taking the cartridge like this and pushing the rounds out. And that's a little bit faster and it, it does all right. And I suppose the fastest way to do this would be to take the base plate off and but then you gotta put the magazine back together and you got a whole big mess. But the one that I'll show you today that is the fast hack. You orient the vector of the magazine towards gravity so that the rounds want to come out, right? And then all you do is apply a little bit of pressure on the back of the round with a loose round. And so you can sit there and if you get good, you can even get multiple of them to pop out through the spring action. So what we're gonna do for fun is we're gonna load up a couple different magazines. I'm gonna try each of the methods. We're gonna put them on the clock, see which one wins. But before we do that, we need to take a break, pay the bills. The National Association for Gun Rights is backed by more than 4.5 million members and supporters and is a grassroots led gun rights organization fighting to restore the rights of the citizen at all levels of government. They pride themselves on being a no compromise alternative to organizations like the National Rifle Association, which if you've been paying attention lately, In addition to participating in local, state, and federal initiatives, they also run a channel here on YouTube that not only discusses these issues, but also showcases some pretty cool hardware. I'll have a link to that channel in the description box down below for you to check out, and you can decide if the organization is something that you want to participate in. Special thanks to them for making today's video possible. Four magazines, four methods. These are all loaded minus two. So we're just going to start with the first one and go. Empty. This pile of gold here. Ah. And we're gonna pull out the front. Go. Empty. More gold. 
Little gold. All right, now we're going to the uh, strip out the cartridges method. And go. Empty. So we went ahead and reloaded it off the stash that was here because this magazine that I was going to use for this is full of sand. You can hear it. That doesn't do anybody any good. So here we go. And begin. And empty. So at this point in time, I don't actually know if the method that I push is faster or not. You guys will know because you'll see the stopwatch post-production, but I haven't seen it yet. So you guys know I don't, but I can tell you that my fingers feel a lot better after using that method than they do with the first two. And it doesn't feel nearly as janky as that full auto stripping it out method with the side of the cartridge. So <laughs> that's all I've got for you today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you have an excellent rest of the week. We'll see you this weekend. And special thanks to our supporters on Patreon and Subscribestar that make videos like this one possible.